hi so in this video um i need to do a very simple thing and that is to get a tab and then put it on a separate window without using my mouse so if you're in chromium or or firefox you can just you can just grab the tab and it becomes a separate tab but what i want to do here is i want to make it as a individual window without using a keyboard shortcut um so sorry without using the mouse so let's get into it so as far as i know there is no um, shortcut that you can do you can do a lot of key presses and then that will achieve it but it's it takes time so what i need to do first is copy the url and then make a new window and then kill this tab and then paste it and then press enter so if i were to do it i need to control l to select the url control c to copy it Control W to close this tab. Control N to put a new window and V and then enter. That opens it up. So now what I want to do is I want to kind of get it, but I want to use a Linux utility or a shell script to achieve it. So if you're on Linux, you have this tool called XDO2. So if you're on Arch Linux, you can get it from uh, sudo pacman dash s x x e o tool and then give it the password and then you can get it's a really small program um the way in which x d o tool works is you can use this to send key presses so i can say uh let's open up a new window of st so terminal and then i'll do sleep one and then what I'll also do is I'll do XDO tool and I'll say SDF and I will click it and move the focus over and you can see that it says uh, unknown command. So what I need to do is XDO tool and then key uh, key and then the characters. So if you're typing a string uh, ASDF that doesn't work. You need to really do uh, each single character. That's kind of hard, but it's fine. Uh, you can do this like that with the focus over and it types that in so that's the power of xdo2 now it can also do other things it can uh for example you can use it to press uh key presses so let's say i open up neofetch here and then i uh, go back to the command uh, say ct rel plus l that is control l to clear it clears it so you can use uh, xdo2 to give the commands so let's do the example that I had before. Um, so I need to first copy. Then I need to, uh, okay, let's get rid of this. Uh, once I copy, uh, sorry, first I need to select. So control L, then control C, then control W, then control N. And then we need to wait for a while for the new window to open. So I'm going to do sleep one here. Uh, not really necessary, but I'm just going to leave that in there. Uh, XDO tool. Uh, after I do that, I need to control plus V. And then I need to press enter. So if you if you want, I can put this in the video description. This is a wiki on GitLab, which shows every uh, key, key code for it. And it does say use control F. That is, you need to find. So... Um, for us, the return is right over here. So it begins with a capital R and then, um, yeah, so return. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is press enter and then move back to here. This should hopefully be put into a new window. Okay, so copy, paste. I think it didn't paste it, but okay, let's see. Uh, I says uh, control V. Okay, okay, uh, so I forgot the key here. Okay, press that, go here, it copies, it faces it, and it presses enter. So, yeah, that's it. So, here you go, that's how this whole thing works. Uh, it's a really cool um, script. It's basically like ASK, or the hotkey in Windows, but it's cooler. Yeah. What I'm going to do now is, I'll actually just echo, echo the whole thing. Oh, echo the whole thing to a file called... Uh, move win or move tab to win.sh 
and then I can nvim go to move Travis H make it a shell script so add the shebang make it a NSH script then I see ch mod plus x uh oh tab NSH oh there you go and now I can execute it using D menu if I wanted to so I'm gonna kill YouTube here and then you just get this so I can silver shift enter to get D menu move tab uh wins sh go that should hopefully yep that fixes it so there you go uh, a really small shell script to get a job done when you wanted to do it so yeah it's really useful and uh, i leave the gitlab link in the video description and there will be a post on dev.2 for yeah for uh the the written version and there will be a blog once i get it done there will be a blog on my um devhypercoder.com site so yeah thanks for watching this video uh, i'll see you in, in another one